The way we power our world is changing. All of us want a future based on clean, just, and equitable energy. But the fight for this future is just beginning. As our modes of transportation change to electric, vehicle batteries need minerals, such as nickel, lithium, and cobalt. The problem? Extracting these minerals can be harmful for the environment and communities. Extraction consumes vast amounts of water, generates poisonous waste, and violates the rights of indigenous peoples. Already the mining industry produces 10% of global carbon emissions. It's North America's number one industrial polluter. And as many communities know all too well, mining poisons our water, soil, and pollutes the air that we breathe. For hundreds of years, mining has destroyed indigenous lands, culture, and lifeways. And this pattern is continuing. Over half of the mining projects for transition minerals are on or near indigenous peoples' territories. But there is a better path forward. We can transition to a clean energy future based on renewable and responsibly managed energy. It begins with making sure that mining does not violate the rights of nature. We have to act now. The opportunity to create a truly clean energy future is in our grasp, but we're at risk of letting it slip through our hands we must act now to clean up irresponsible mining practices. If we don't, we risk locking in these impacts for generations to come. To clean up an industry that's been causing harm for centuries, we're going to need to work together. Automakers have the power to require high standards for mining companies in their supply chain, innovate new batteries that require fewer minerals to be mined from the earth, and prioritize investment in the way EV batteries are reused and recycled. We need governments to support us too by upholding the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples and honoring the right to free prior and informed consent by redirecting government subsidies for oil and gas into the infrastructures of equitable, clean energy. By 2040, we can meet half of the mineral demands of the energy transition to recycling. But we can't do that without the right incentives in place that prioritize recycling over new mining. Industries and governments must invest in technologies that reuse and recycle EV batteries at scale and safely in ways that protect workers and communities. All life relies on nature. We must work with it, not against it, for our transportation and clean energy future for all. Now is the time to take action.